This week, students nationwide will celebrate Read Across America with a week-long celebration of reading and activities. Joining us now with expert recommendations and products to help your kids enjoy reading is Branson Stowell from Best Reviews. Branson, thanks so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me, Olivia. And isn't it feeling like a good time to read a book? I mean, with the it weather really last is. week and everything, it's like, ah. This is the perfect time, and I'm so glad that you brought so many different recommendations. But let's first start with the kiddos. What's this first book over here that you have? Yeah. Yeah, so this first book is called An Elephant and Piggy Biggie, and it's actually a collection of little short stories. Think of this for like the very early stage readers. You're just learning to read. You're kind of just getting used to familiar characters. It's got beautiful uh, illustrations. It's got a lot of different stories and lessons to be learned. And this is one that the parents might be helping you read along with, but that's okay, because the story is adorable. You have these two animal duo. This is this amazing friendship that you get to explore. Yeah. And uh, it, it's got all these, as I said, all these other stories within it. So it's actually like a bunch of storybooks within one. So you only have to pick this off the shelf when you're reading to your kid at night. And that's so nice too for all the different ages because like you said, when they're yeah. a little bit younger and you're trying to teach them stories and how to read, you can do it with them and there's 40 different stories that you can choose from. So that is perfect. Yes. And now moving on to the kids who already kind of know how to read a little bit, but maybe need some illustration, some help, some fun when it comes to the reading. What about this book? Yeah, we're moving up a few years and this is where you're starting to read on your own. And I, what I love about this, this is called Change Sings. It is by Amanda Gorman, who is a very famous American poet. This is her first foray into the children's book world. And it is such a beautiful book, not only in its beautiful illustrations, which are very fascinating, but the story it tells. It really teaches kids this idea that just because you may be young and you feel like your voices might be small, you can still affect the world with big change if you come together. So I think it just has great lessons to be learned, and mm -hmm. I think this is a fantastic one for kids to read on their own or parents to read with their little kids. And I like that you mentioned how it teaches some real-life stories, because oftentimes when kids are in elementary school, they're starting to learn. They also need to learn these life lessons as well, yeah. just like you and I needed to. <laughs> Absolutely, I didn't learn enough, let me tell you. <laughs> well, moving on to young adults, I know that this looks like a big intimidating read, but this is actually a nice little series over here. Yeah, so this is Legendborn, and what's so cool about this book, these are all book recommendations from our librarian expert, Sierra Pastorell, who works with us at Best Reviews. This book in particular is a fantasy, and I think fantasy is so huge. I mean, fantasy is so big right now. People love Game of Thrones, Rings of Power, all these big fantasy series. And this is kind of the beginning of what's going to be a new big fantasy series. I don't want to, you know, <laughs> predict anything, but this could make great, you know, TV or movie material one day. Basically, the story in this book, it's a young adult novel. It follows a young woman as she joins kind of the King Arthur Camelot world. So it takes a classic, a classic that we're used mm -hmm. to, kind of the King Arthur mythology, and brings into the modern era, brings us to North Carolina, actually. And so it's super relatable. It's a great thick book, as you can see. You know, you're gonna feel really accomplished when you're reading it, but this is for the young adults and mm -hmm. maybe even a young adult like Myself, you know, wants to get into this <laughs> world, which is fantastic. It's just a really entertaining read, and I think it's uh, one that I'd recommend to all kids in that era. Well, this is cool, too, because, uh, like you mentioned, something that's more entertaining, so more of that mythical fantasy part, yes. but it's relatable. You said it, it's placed in North Carolina. Yeah, and so I think there's going to be a lot more in this series, too. So it's just it's one of those things we can be really excited about getting the being the first one and getting the first taste of what will be a big um, anthology, my guess. You know? <laughs> well, when it comes to the physical books, I know me personally, I like a physical book, but sometimes when people are traveling or they want multiple books at once, the Kindle is the perfect tool for them. Isn't that right? Yeah, you and me both, Olivia. The physical book is so nice, but not always the most practical thing. I mean, especially if you're traveling or you're on the go a lot, and you don't want to have to carry around a lot of books. If you're reading multiple books at a time, which some very ambitious people out there do, <laughs> uh, <laughs> luckily they've got the time on their hands, this is the book for you. The nice thing about it is you see it's so small. Mm -hmm. The Kindle is a classic. Mm -hmm. They update it every year, right? This is something that like Amazon's been really good about keeping um, fresh. And the nice thing about this Kindle is it has a long, long battery life. And because of the Nook library, you can keep 
thousands of books on this on this one little tablet, which is nice. It's got a nice backlight for reading. You can mm -hmm. scroll through there. Uh, it's just nice. I, I think that this is the kind of thing that like you'd keep by your bedside if you wanted to read at night, and you could take it with you on the train. Yes, yeah. I was going to say, planes, trains, buses, whenever you're traveling, the Kindle actually might be the best option for you because, like Branson said, you can hold thousands of books. Now, when it comes to reading, we also need to protect our eyes. So what about these glasses over here? Oh, those glasses. Those are the blue light glasses from Felix Gray. And, you know, for those of us that don't, aren't necessarily reading for fun and maybe on our laptops working from home or reading from an iPad or something like that, all of that blue light can be harmful, cause mm -hmm. eye strain, headaches. I mean, you know those days where you're staring at a screen long enough and you just need to like look outside for a minute. These glasses give you a little bit of levity from that. So you can put on those glasses while, and feel like you're safely reading um, whatever you want and just scroll away. The nice thing too, my personal favorite thing about them is they're really just stylish and cool. They really are. I was gonna say, they're actually pretty stylish. So even if you don't want them for the blue light protection, maybe you just wanna add a little fashion to your outfit. This is, the good, this is a good option. They look fresh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Branson, thank you so much for joining us and giving us the top reads from Best Reviews. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so much.